Hey, welcome back again. Welcome back again. <clears throat> Marindung, Marindung is my name. Your first time turning into this video. Thank you very much. A short topic for today will be about um, you resemble who you talk to. <clears throat> I didn't know that when I catch in revelation, the five people that you talk to in life, you still start looking like them. <clears throat> Just pause. Ask the five people that you've been talking to. For the past five years, you know you you look like them, which means that you will not be more than them. And you will not be. You guys are almost of the same level. So you are attracted to um. So who do you spend your time with? Who do you talk to? Do you talk to great people? Do you sp talk to gossipers? Do you talk to people who steals? Do you talk to people who don't have no vision? Do you talk to people who are angry? You talk to people who only want to kiss. You talk to people who, who, lo who, who are lovers, who bless. You talk to hardworking people. You talk to people who have vision. That is who you are. The five five years of your life will tend to. So who do you talk to? You have to be careful. Who do we spend our, our time with? How do we spend our time? Because we begin in the layman language, they say, bed of the same feather flock together. They are very right. But many people argue that it is true. With time, you begin to resemble the beds that you are with. <clears throat> Genesis. Um, okay, let me go to the scripture. The scripture talk about um, Psalms one one nine sixty three. Saying, "I am a companion of all who fear you, of those who keep you precept. Yeah, those who are faithful with God. The Psalm says he's a companion." He walks with believers. He walks with people who are praying. He walks with people who fear the Lord. He walks with people. You cannot be a lady. You are married. You go and carry unmarried women and make your friends. No. <clears throat> I have a friend that keep telling her that. And the husband have problem with her. She doesn't listen. It, it is true. You cannot be somebody who is... Um, you are going to school and you go and make friends with people who don't have vision. Who are around the smoking weed and just playing. Or you're a business-minded person, you go and take to people who don't have vision. What will they help you? Where will you go to? So the first, the five people you talk to, so you want to be a green man, look for great people and be working with, and be talking to. Stop talking with people who don't have vision. I'm telling you. <clears throat> first Corinthians 15, 3 says, Do not be deceived, bad company, rude, good morals. It does. For some reason, see me, I'm sitting here, right? It's somebody who is standing. I'll have more strength to pull the person down because I'm sitting. But for that person standing to pull me, it's possible, but it's difficult. But I have more strength. That's a bad company. That bad company is the one we're sitting down so you can pull. But good company is difficult to pull you up. So we just have to be careful. If you're a young man or young lady watching me, you have to. Who, you resemble who you talk to. It's just like you look like what you eat. For people who want to do exercise, that's true. You cannot say you're not eating and you're getting bigger. You look like what you eat. So you look like who you talk to. So we just have to pray God. Father, I just call upon your name. I know there are many people with bad companies. Sometimes they don't even know how they deliver themselves. I've been in that scenario. <clears throat> God, I know the grace you gave me. It was difficult for me to depart, Father God. I know there are some people watching me. You that you're watching me, you're seeing God. How can I be delivered? Maybe it's Susanna, it's Paulina. Maybe it's that man that takes you and just use you anyhow. <clears throat> you have that man that whenever he wants sex, he just call your name. Susan, Mary, where are you? Just come here. For some reason, you see yourself, you just go there. After you have done it with him or her, you come back and you're crying. I learned of this lady that they say each time she's menstruating, you have some men that will call her like three men. That's when she will get up and go and make love to those men, three men. And she knows that it was not right. Each time she's menstruating, they know she's menstruating and they will call her. See how demonic it was. So sometimes you're there, you don't love what you're doing. But because of the company that you keep, you can tell your friend, your friend, say, what's wrong? What's wrong in dating married men? <clears throat> if their wife was taking care of them, will they come to you? So you're there and dating married men and destroying your life. Or was there stealing? You want to die hungry, God will understand. 
you're going to pay for what you're doing, all the ugly things. But you have people who tell that, no, don't steal, don't prostitute. Come and let's work hard. Come and let's go buy this market. Come and let's say, come and let's struggle. Big by big, God will bless us. You have those people who are hustlers, they are hustling. And you're there with them. Or oh, come and let's go to school and do this course. You can do it. You can do it. So you can, you can. I keep encouraging you. Those are the type of people you hang, you hang on with. People who are positive. In the next five years, ten years, you ask that what has happened because I've been with these people. If you have not seen no change, then leave your company. You leave on. You need another company. Father Joe, I just pray for those people who are struggling to leave their <clears throat> the company that they know is not bad, good. Give them the strength, Lord. Give them the strength. Father, we bless your name for there will be testimony. Father, we say thank you. If you're watching me and you have not given your life to Christ, just call his name Jesus. Thank you very much. You are the Lord over my life. Bless your name. <clears throat> Amen. Look for a Bible believing church and make Jesus the Lord of your life. And he's going to take care of you. Thank you very much. My name is Marindo. Thank you.